Whoa. Just a test on visual here. <laughs> Almost fell off the chair. Uh, there we go. You know what? Let's roll with it. I don't care. Let's roll with it. I'm not even going to test it. I, I'm going to assume I'm in frame. And we're b -b 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 back. Back to the Robert Cheek Show. I'm your host, Robert Cheek. And uh, today is Thursday, July 2nd. 2009 got a little bit of weed whacker action going on over there but uh, I was just gonna do an audio test or a visual test but I'm gonna just roll with it so the last couple days you heard I was a little bit under the weather and I want to talk about that because I think it's it's an important concept to talk about because initially I was gonna like oh maybe I should stop the show not do the show because if people see that I'm not feeling well uh, they'll associate that with vegan diet and this and that and it's something that's that's always been kind of weighing on my head it's like something that I have to deal with all the time oh because I'm doing this people are going to associate that with vegan lifestyle or this and that and so sure enough yesterday I was talking to someone who's giving me a hard time and said hey Robert do you, do you have a cold and uh, and I said yeah and they're like huh, you vegans I don't know about you vegans and and a healthy lifestyle you seem to always be getting sick. And I'm like, listen, Dad, it's not like that. I mean, first of all, let's look at what I do. Let's look at my job. Number one, I'm in different city every couple of weeks, different time zones, different states, different climates, different airports, sleeping on different friends' couches, sleeping in my car, doing whatever it takes to do what I need to do. So I'm all over the country. Uh, all the time every couple weeks I'm just constantly changing also I spend a majority of my time or not a majority but I spend a consistent amount of time in some of the most germ filled places you can imagine fitness centers gyms locker rooms airports airplanes I mean uh, if anyone is bound to pick up something it's it is me because of my lifestyle I mean I'm on the go constantly and I'm in different places constantly on top of that you know I work like 12 15 18 hours a day every day every day is just non-stop and yeah that kind of environment yeah sure you might get something like this so anyway today's topic is revolving around that so don't feel like you have to hide behind uh, you know try to cover up if you get sick or something I mean, everybody gets sick I was, so that was my, my dad who was contacting me last night. Hey, do you have, do you have a cold and you vegans? And I'm like, listen. And, and he's like, oh, yeah, I haven't been sick in years, even though I can remember distinctly just recently when he had a little bit of a cold. Because we remember the things we want to remember and forget the things that just don't seem to be that important um, or that we just don't want to remember. So we naturally say, oh, yeah, I never get sick. These are the same people who get sick just as much as everybody else just like we say yeah I call my mom all the time well you know once every six months isn't all the time or yeah I take the dog for a walk every morning well not the times that you didn't feel like it or that you were hung over you slept in or you weren't feeling well or you just weren't in the mood or you were mad or or you you were out of town or I mean we're not doing what we think we're doing but getting back to this whole thing that uh, don't feel like you have to hide behind it or, or hide it and say uh, because you're afraid that people will associate that cold or, or sickness with your vegan lifestyle and just when people do that don't I mean call them on it don't let them get away with it just like I called my dad I, I said listen and I just went on down the list and said you're gonna you're gonna hear me out here because these are all major factors of why someone like me might get some sort of a cold that actually didn't even slow me down that much uh, and I'm not going to blame that on vegan diet from a positive. Say, oh, if it wasn't for my vegan diet, I would have been at, you know, in bed, but I still worked 12, 15 hours a day, even with the cold, and still trained shoulders last night and abs and all this stuff. I'm not going to go there either. But the bottom line is there's so many other factors. Don't let someone uh, pigeonhole you into your vegan lifestyle is equated with X. You know, your you have a cold because of this or I mean I don't go around saying oh you know you sprain you sprain your ankle it's because you're not vegan or uh, you stubbed your toe and and you're in pain well because you're not vegan 
or hey, you have you have a cold. Well, it's because you're not vegan. Some of these things could be related to some degree. Obviously, uh, nutrient intake is some sort of determining factor in our overall health, the strength of the immune system, etc. But it's not the only thing, and that's what I'm trying to get at, too. Where we can't just write it all off and say, well, you've got a sore back. That's because you're you're not vegan, um, or you have a sore back, and that's because you are vegan. You're not getting enough of this, this, this. Uh, don't let people do that. Don't let people do that. You you have uh, no reason to feel, feel uh, as if you're a victim of that, uh, no reason to be burdened with that um, uh, kind of condescending attitude that other people may have. Um, so don't put up with it, just like I didn't put up with it when my dad was trying to call me on something yesterday. And, and I, you know, distinctly clarified, listen, I'm exceptionally busy. Uh, I dedicate my life to this stuff. So yeah, if I get a cold every once in a while from being in a dirty gym every day, a dirty airport every day, a dirty plane every day. So be it, because I'm doing a lot of things that are worthwhile, and I do get a lot of fulfillment out of it, a lot of joy from it, and I can make a, a big difference. So, so that's what that's what today's whole theme is. And don't, um, you know, don't let people push you over and, and stand up for yourself, and and kind of put things into perspective, and use some of those same examples that I use, that make it very very clear that it's not just because you're this or you're this that you feel this way or because you have this outcome. So that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, I never know how much time is going on here. We've never done a single retake. I've never gone over 10 minutes, which is what YouTube allows. I never have a clock back there. I just guess. And I'm guessing. I'm getting around the seven or eight minute mark. Uh, I've been talking kind of fast because <laughs> uh, I, I never know when I'm going to hit that mark. Perhaps it would behoove me to keep a clock nearby because I have bugs and sweat and everything around me out here in the backyard, Portland, Oregon. Anyway, uh, yeah, so now that we're done with that, uh, I want to thank everyone. It's been only a little more than 24 hours since the Veg News Awards uh, nominations were announced and I've already got over 250 members of a group that I started on Facebook, the Asking People to Vote for me and, and hoping that I'll emerge this year as America's, or North America's favorite vegan athlete. That's something that, it would be a lot of fun. Um, it's not the end all be all, uh, not that big of a deal, but it certainly would be kind of fun. And I have dedicated myself to building a community and communicating with you rather than being someone who's a person in the public eye or in the spotlight but doesn't take the time to interact with an audience. That's what I, what I enjoy doing. So anyway, I want to thank you for voting in the Veg News magazine ads. Check me out on Facebook to, uh, to learn, uh, sorry, not ads, awards. Check me out on Facebook to find out more about that. I got a weed whacker guy uh, on the other side of the fence coming close so I can hear him. So I should go. but. Thanks for watching The Robert Cheek Show. I'm gonna head down to Corvallis tomorrow to see my mom and pick some cherries. At least that's the plan. I'm gonna go for a little run later tonight, hit the gym later tonight, and get back to work later tonight. But I will get a show going tomorrow before I head out of town, okay? So we won't miss a day. We're still rolling. This is episode number eight, and it is Thursday, July 2nd, 2009. Coming at you, Robert Cheek Show. Thanks for watching.